Hi, this is Ed from SGU TV. And this is Neelam. And I'm Tanisha. So right now, one of the issues that a lot of my fellow students at school are going through is if they live off campus, a lot of them have their water shut off. So I brought today some of my friends from Grenada to help explain exactly what's going on. So Neelam, what's, um, wh why are people losing their water? Um, as it currently stands, um, it's mostly because of most of the workers of Nawasa, which is the company that regulates and supplies water to the island of Grenada, Karakum, and Pitimadnik. Most of their workers have, have taken the strike because they, are, they don't like the conditions they're working under because most of the workers are on contract, right? Okay. And when you're a contract worker, you get little pay for hard work. You don't get the same benefits as a permanent worker, such as um, health and insurance and um, sick days and stuff like that. Okay. Um, you don't really get any promotions. Um, any, you can be fired mostly without any warning at any given time and nothing can be done about it. So I think that's a really good point that you know, students should be paying attention to what's going on. So some students, they live, I, I, as far as I know, lots of pain is shut off with water. Yeah, they, they usually get regular intervals of on and off. So which neighborhoods would be better to live in so that they could avoid these types of problems? Um, that would be through Belmont Avenue and Tantine. Let's pull that the student unfortunately only has the bus as an option for travel. Mm -hmm. Which one is the best? Point Saline, Grand Dance, Mount 2, or Lons of Pain? You might say Point Saline. Saline. Yeah. Point Saline. Because okay. it's, it's more of a, of a business or there's the airport in that area. Okay. So they would more try to service the airport and make sure everything is working. I'm also in, such, in more business areas such as close to the hotels and stuff like that. Okay. Um, if you get uh, a place to rent close to there, that would be a good thing because they would try to uh, supply the hotels and, and supermarkets and stuff like that with water. Let's suppose that the, the water gets shut off because of the dams and things like that. Is there any other thing that a student can do to ensure that they have a good water supply? Oh, when you're renting, yes. our advice is to always ask your landlord if they have the own water tanks. That was very helpful. Yeah. Thank also, you so much. Um, yeah, also, yeah, one last tip. Um, in case you want to sow water for yourself, you can also go to the supermarkets and stuff and go to the back and ask for the spare buckets that they have yeah. and you can fill that with water and hold it for any well a rainy day or a no water day if that yeah. is okay that was very helpful thank you so much you're welcome, you're welcome. all right all right that's it thanks for checking out sgu tv please make sure to like comment and subscribe and check out our other videos